Okay, so RPG tutorial part 3. Um, so far we've made it so we can scroll and so that he can save. So in the conditions we have always scroll and upon pressing enter it saves the game. And I have this little setup put up. Um, I have I put in this little girl in green uh, for him to talk to. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make it so we can talk to her. So right click insert object Let's see here um do active okay and then double click on it and now we're making the chat box in the chat box what I like to do is just have it be um stay there and then whenever he talks to someone the the writing just appears in the chat box so in order to do that we have to make it so it if I can find it here um, so it doesn't follow the frame that way it stays in one position and then also we have to make it transparent uh, where's transparent oh here um, so under the little display options uh, make sure transparent is checked do ink effect semi transparent and then high in this between 1 and 100 depending on how transparent you want to make it so let's make it say 65 and boom now you have a transparent little chat box right here and now we need to insert a string to be when the girl talks Okay, get the string. And we need to make it so it's not visible at start. Now what you'll see in a lot of RPG games is where the if the girl has a lot to say. Um here wait. We have to make this so it doesn't display his background so you can make it over the chat box. And then if um, in a lot of RPG games, uh, you'll see that you can, um, the girl, if the girl say has a lot to say, then you just press enter and there's another thing that comes up. So what you do is, you go to this little, um, wait, it's not there. Oh yeah, it's in the little check mark, and you have paragraph one, and you can make lots of paragraphs, see? So let's put in three paragraphs, and for the first paragraph let's say hello and the next one my name is Sarah and the next one is let's say uh, uh, what's your name Okay, so we have the three paragraphs. Now what we do is insert a condition where if, um, well there's two ways that you can do this. You can either make it when he's near the girl and he presses enter, it talks to her, or when he collides to the girl, she automatic with the girl, she automatically starts talking to him. Personally, I like to make it so when he collides with the girl, it makes him talk, her talk. So, I'll show you how to do that. Um, collisions, another object, the girl, okay. Um, make, go to visibility, make object reappear. So now, you press F7. If he collides with the girl, boom, she says hello. But we also have to make it so he stops when he collides with the girl, because otherwise he'll just run right through her. So movement stop. Boom. She just said hello. And that's kind of too small. So what you want to do is make it bigger. And then so it stands out, you can make it be white. 
and then here let me make it visible real quick you also want to enlarge the box to the width of the chat box so that it doesn't cut off okay so now oh wait I have to make it <laughs> visible again okay so you get that part and then in order to display the other paragraphs you do new condition if if this is visible if string is visible and insert upon pressing enter it goes to the next paragraph so next paragraph and then in order to make it so that it goes away when you press enter on the third paragraph you make it so every time you press enter add to the alterable value of this green girl to a one and then new condition upon pressing enter and the alterable value of the girl is three to three you make this disappear so visibility make object invisible so if we test that out, oh wait one more thing when when you do a collision thing you have to make sure you insert a condition where it only happens once so that he doesn't keep colliding with her and it and it'll screw it up so limit conditions run this event once so now collides with her boom hello press enter my name is Sarah what's your name and then it goes away so that's basically how you make a chat box the reason he didn't stop when I collide with her is because my computer messes up when I have the screen recorder going so that's pretty much it